So you want to install Windows on a PCIe M.2 NVMe SSD? Stick around and I'll show you how. Okay, so before you boot up the machine at this point, you do need to make sure that you've got your Windows installation media plugged into a USB socket on the machine. Now this is a Windows 10, and this is actually how they supply Windows 10, so it's already on a USB drive. But if you've already got uh, Windows 8 on a DVD, then you can put it on a USB drive as well. And we've got tutorials on our YouTube channel, or you can just do a Google search on how you do that. Uh, you won't need any additional drivers when you've just got a single SM951 NVMe because there's already drivers built in. But once we've got Windows installed, we will be applying a patch so that we can improve the performance. So now we're going to install Windows on a single SM951 installation, so not a RAID installation. So if you've come from the hardware video, I've removed that. I've put my Windows USB installation drive in the USB socket and press F11 on boot. And now this is where we need to boot from, this UEFI entry here, which shows the USB drive that's got my Windows installed on it. I'm gonna go with the 64-bit version. Now this has got all of the defaults for the UEFI BIOS, so I didn't have to change a single thing. All I did was make sure that the latest BIOS was installed. So put my product key in again. Accept the license. So we do a custom install. So you can see that uh, the native drivers have already picked up the drive, so we've got some unallocated space there. That's all we should have. If you've got petitions on your drive because you've done other installations on it, I would go through and delete those petitions so that you've just got unallocated space. And you go next. So now what I'm going to do is copy my Anvil utilities onto the desktop and run those. And the reason I'm doing this is to show you that the, the native driver in Windows 10 actually has some pretty poor write performance. So I'm going to show that to you now and then we'll show you how to fix it by updating the driver. So we can see here that the the write performance is really poor with the, the building Windows 10 store NVMe driver. So uh, the way that you can fix that is to download the Samsung HP NVMe driver from HP. So just Google HP NVMe Samsung driver and you'll find it. I've copied it onto my USB drive. So I'm going to copy it across. What you have to do is run that package and that installs it into the onto the C drive and this folder here. And that's the driver in there. So now what you need to do is run the device manager. So you can just search for device manager. And if we spell it correctly, that would be useful. And down under storage controllers, we've got the NVMe Express controller. If we look at the properties for that, and the driver details, you see this is the one from Microsoft. So what we're gonna do is update the driver and browse the computer. folder that that package made. There we go next. So it's found the Samsung NVMe controller. So we need to close there. So now it's updated and close and then give the machine a reboot. Probably want to take your 
uh, Windows installation USB drive out at the same time. So we're back in the Windows, which was pretty quick. I'm going to run the Anvil Utilities again. And we'll see how much the write performance has improved. So as you can see here, the uh, write speeds and the write performance overall is much improved with this new uh, Samsung driver, so which is just comes up as NVMe under the storage driver. So just to finish off, I'm going to do a quick reboot and we'll show the timing. All right, so timer on. And we haven't got the BIOS in quick mode or anything, but this is how quickly the machine will boot, even without that. I think it actually takes longer for my monitor to respond. And there we go, usable desktop. Okay, so that's it, job done. So if you found this installation video useful and you think that somebody else might find it useful as well, then please use the share button. If you've got your own story about installing Windows on a M.2 SSD and did it work or didn't it work or if you've got information that other people might find useful, if you do then please put those in a comment below. And finally we've got new content coming out every week and if you want to be the first to get notified about the new content on our channel then head on over to the subscribe button, click there and thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.